Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ari Zoldan with GoingYMAX.com. I have here with me Kelvin Lee, Senior General Manager at Green Packet. Kelvin, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks, Thank Ari. You. Thank you for joining us. Tell us a little bit about Green Packet. Uh, Green Packet uh, started off in the U.S. in uh, San Francisco, right? And uh, back in the year 2000. Uh, since then, our Asian headquarters is in Kuala Lumpur, Indonesia. Right? Uh, we have got two main businesses units. Uh, one is the solutions group, which I lead. Uh, so we have uh, WiMAX devices, and we have a lot of software uh, technology for both the WiMAX market and the 3G GSM market. And we also own a, uh, a WiMAX operator in uh, Packet One Networks, which is the largest uh, WiMAX operator in the Asia Pacific region outside of Korea. Great. For some of us that are not familiar, can you explain what WiMAX is? Uh, WiMAX is, uh, is an international standard, right? Uh, that uh, actually provides uh, an, a, a new way of, uh, they call it 4G broadband, okay, that, that, that is a fast uh, internet uh, and um, connects you to, you know, um, in, in, it's a mobile broadband. If you could explain to us the difference between Green Packet right. uh, and P1. Um, Green Packet is a solutions company, all right, so we, we market our WiMAX CPEs and our software products. While P1 is a WiMAX operator, it's a converged WiMAX operator. So, so one is uh, solutions and, and one is a, a operator. Wonderful. If, if you could share with us um, a little bit about the, uh, the temperature of the environment uh, for Green Packet within Asia, how well is the service being received and some, of, some testimonials of people that you work with? Right. Um, in, in terms of our footprint, uh, we, we started off uh, obviously, in the uh, software, um, you know, uh, sector, uh, supplying solutions to a lot of uh, GSM, uh, 3G operators, for example, China Unicom, uh, China Mobile, uh, PLDT, uh, Maxis, uh, PCCW, right? Uh, in terms of our software products, um, and uh, in terms of our WiMAX uh, devices, today our footprint is that we are engaging with more than 46 operators in 22 countries. Wonderful. Let's actually, you had mentioned some of the devices, now would be a good time. If, yes. if you can talk just briefly about some of the devices, what they do, what kind of applications they're useful for, that would be great. All right. Um, we, we have just launched uh, two uh, uh, products. Right? This one is the uh, Tower. It's a indoor uh, WiMAX CPE. It's got a WiMAX in, Wi-Fi out, um, two uh, LAN ports and uh, two voice ports. Okay. So excellent for you know for you know um, if you want to Wi-Fi your home for example okay so it's WiMAX in and you know the whole family can access it from your mobile phone you know Wi-Fi based mobile phone or PCs and so forth. This is uh, our new uh, USB modem. It is a wide band, uh, high performance uh, product. Uh, um, it, it has got both 2.3 and uh, 2.5 gigahertz. All right. Uh, it co it's connected to the uh, to the notebooks or the PC via a USB modem, as well as a reverse SMA connector that gives you extended, uh, if, if you like, uh, signal. Amazing. The design on this is, is quite amazing. Yeah. On on the tower model, um, can these currently be purchased now and where? Um, Green Green Packet, uh, you know, uh, produces them, and right now. Uh, as mentioned, you know, uh, although we have just launched it, right, there are already a couple of uh, operators, you know, that are already using uh, these two products, which we will, you know, the names will be made available to you uh, shortly. Wonderful. We're certainly looking forward to that. Um, so, this, if you have a, a WiMAX service, you're talking WiMAX in, and then for distribution, it's Wi-Fi wi out. out. That's right. The, what kind of range are, are we looking at for this kind of device? I think if you are talking about Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is typically 50 to maybe 80 meters, right? so just enough for your home. Okay. Whereas uh, in terms of the WiMAX, right, uh, I mean theoretically it can go to several kilometers. Right. So of course uh, it's a line of sight technology, the uh, WiMAX. Right. So um, the uh, the receiving can be very far, but the distribution because of Wi-Fi technology will limit you to probably 50 to 100 meters, I guess. If you could share a little bit about Green Packet's management philosophy and, and how they conduct business as it relates to, to, um, to some of their subscribers or, or customer base. 
Right. Uh, Green Packet, we are, we are customer focused. Right. I, I think one of the, uh, the, the main thing is we listen to our customers. And a lot of these products uh, really are developed by, by listening to what our customers want. Uh, besides the technology that, that, that they put on, okay, in terms of the uh, performance and so forth. But right, right. generally, we listen to what our customers want. Uh, second is that uh, from a solutions perspective, the speed. Okay, we, we do things very fast. We don't believe in you know dragging or procrastinating. Right, we just make sure that uh, things are done, uh, are done. So we work very much as a a startup company mentality, although we are a public listed company. It sounds like um, what we've been hearing in the industry. It certainly sounds like Green Packet um, really breeds innovation, innovation and creativity. Um, what other what other kind of future projects are on the horizon for? Well, our vision is always uh, getting people connected. Right? So whether it's uh, devices like this, or providing an all IP-based network, or even uh, software that connects you to the internet, uh, we really believe in mobile broadband, we believe in 4G, uh, we believe in the connected internet world. All right? So you will see uh, a lot of products from Green Packet right, uh, in, the, in the future months and years, right? uh, very innovative in in the areas of promoting mobile broadband. Excellent. Where's the United States on Green Packet's uh, action list? Right. Good question, uh, Ari. Um, we, we started off, obviously, in the US. Um, we have a significant uh, footprint in the Asia Pacific uh, by virtue of you know, our organization uh, being uh, you know, built up in, in Malaysia okay, due to the, the government's incentives, uh, tax programs and so forth. Okay, so right now we, we feel that it is a good time to come back to the United States because there's so much opportunity here. Uh, there's so much need for uh, for 4G for broadband, and we just see a vast amount of opportunities. So we are committed to uh, to 4G mobile broadband. We are committed uh, to the U.S. market as well. Great. And how is the customer different in Asia versus in the United States, or, or are there any differences? I, I think certainly uh, there are differences uh, in terms of culture, uh, but I believe that uh, in the in, in the Asian culture, uh, you've got to be really very uh, customer centric, just as in, in the U.S. Uh, I I do not think that you will have you know you'll be very well received if you are from one end of the world talking to a customer on the other end of the world. You really got to be here, stationed here. And so that's our commitment in the, in the U.S. market. Right? So we are just not uh, communicating from one end of the world. Wonderful. We've been hearing some amazing things from Green Packet. So and your reputation is just extraordinary. Thank you. Excellent. We definitely look forward to some uh, some great news from you. So thank you thank very you, much, Kelvin. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, it was Kelvin Lee, Senior General Manager at Green Packet. Uh, for more information, please go to www.goingymax.com.